I bet you're wondering what the heck this is. I'm going to show you here in just a second. Um, you see a couple pipes there and stuff. This is my solar furnace. I have built this last year um, and it's been a lot of fun to do. Uh, just to show you um, what it is, it's 24 feet long, 8 feet high. It's six sheets of plywood. Uh, it's insulated. It has a black backing to absorb the heat from the sun. And um, if we go up this way, you can, well, let me go this way down here. Um, you can see uh, it took me just about three months to build it. Um, let me show you how this works. I have an inlet from the house at the bottom where the cold air goes. At the top, we have another outlet to go back to the house. And what it does, it chambers the heat, is pushed by a fan, a small fan, a duct fan, and it's put all the way down and around and then it comes out hot at the top. Right now, today, it's kind of overcast. It's not real, real warm. I just flipped it back on. I usually have it on a timer from about three, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. It comes on automatically and shuts off at about 3, 3.30 in the afternoon. And uh, it produces about 38 to 40,000 BTU, uh, BTUs of heat uh, in full sun. Um, you know, it's absolutely free heat other than the fan running. It's a couple pennies a day to run the fan. Uh, but I calculated it. It should pay itself within a couple of years uh, for sure. And um, uh, the challenging part was I never saw a freestanding one like this before. And I decided I was going to build one. And I had this in the works for a couple of years of how to design it and how to put it together. See how the back is put together. Um, this is my intake and that goes from the house over, I'm sorry, over and goes through the box and then comes back out and goes back into the house. Um, this was a challenging part because I had to make sure that this was waterproof and that it was, uh, there's an insulated six inch uh, insulation ductwork in, inside the pipe here. So uh, everything's insulated because I, how do you get it warm from here and get it back to the house hot? Upstairs, it actually comes out. I unhooked one of the ductwork from my main furnace and in the middle of the house and I have it going straight up pretty well in the center and it comes out at the house at the top level where the vent is. It comes out about 127 to 130 degrees on a real sunny sunny day. Now, when you build this thing, you can buy all your stuff at Lowe's or Home Depot. I bought a lot of my stuff at Lowe's. They had a little nicer selection on a couple of things. I tore this box apart twice because of some mistakes. The first mistake I did was I used the aluminum on the back and used um, Rust-Oleum paint. Now, the Rust-Oleum paint is okay if you're not using the high heat, but I would stay away from all that if you can buy um, the rust oleum that I used, it stunk to high heaven. It was horrible. It was a high heat thinking that would be what I needed for this box. And they told me it had to be 250 degrees for it to finally dissipate. And the highest I could get this thing was about 100 and uh, about 210, 220 degrees inside the box. And that's pretty hot. Um, now I'm feeling it now. It's pretty warm. And, you know, I'm not even at the top chamber here, let's see. Yeah, it's pretty hot up there. Um, so, you know, it takes some, some know-how to put this together. It's not difficult. Uh, the concept came to me a few years ago, and, and I did a few window boxes like that that I still use today as well on, in the basement. And uh, it's, it really does do the trick. I can, the other day it was 20 degrees out side 25 and I got the house up to about 67 after I heated it up in the morning when I get up I shut it off and when I came back around 5 o'clock 5:30 at night it was still 67 in the house it probably was higher than 67 during the height of the day uh, the sunlight so it can be done you know if you're gonna build anything this big it is portable you I never saw a freestanding one like this before anywhere on the net and I decided I was going to build one and see how it would work. Um, you can move it if you need to. Um, 
you can uh, move it to a shop if you need it on a shop or you know it's kind of nice because it's freestanding on its own you're not attaching it to the house um, I was thinking of putting it on the roof but it was way too heavy to put on the roof my one mistake there's a couple the one mistake was I tried to build this on the ground and then lift it do not do that put the framework up and then put it together standing upright I had to get the front end loader at the farm to get this up and I did this all by myself so that took about a couple of hours just to get it on where I wanted and at the angle I needed it. The other thing you want, don't want to use is this pine wood. Last year the paint was the problem, tore that out. Then I put this paint, this this other thing in, um, this pine wood, and it and it reeked. Uh, this year it's not near as bad. Uh, it's very tolerable this year. But if you're going to do anything like this, use stud uh, metal studs instead of anything wood. Okay, try to make as much of it metal as you can uh, around the box itself. Okay folks, so hopefully this has been informative. If you're interested, I should have a pattern together on this eventually. I have it all written down, what I used and how much of it I used and all that good stuff um, or a general idea what you need. And you can see how big it is. It's, it, was, it was huge. Um, it was a fun project to work on. And if you're tired of high heating bills and you want another avenue, this is a great way to go. The other thing you could also do, and I have thought about running water lines through it, uh, you could do that if you needed it for hot water. Um, I, I wasn't that interested in the hot water as, as much as I was the heat. And um, you could do a dual purpose actually with something this large. You could probably run some lines through it um, and use it for heating water as well. So, um, you know, I hope this has been fun <laughs> and informative for you. And, um, you know, we'll get going on another, another carving project here shortly. And uh, thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.